Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter and this is your Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Tuesday, June 25th. Looking at some midweek showers and thunderstorms on the way for Wednesday and Thursday, but beyond that, pretty much a warm and windy pattern will continue following a slight cool down on Thursday and Friday. I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Key parts we're going to focus on today, again that warm, dry and windy pattern will continue. If you're tired of the wind, we've got plenty more over the next seven days, but expect those strongest winds each day during those afternoon hours. We're looking at a series of fronts moving through midweek, a warm front on Wednesday, followed by a cold front on Thursday. Well, that means for us, some isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorm potential, with stronger storms capable of producing some gusty outflows, small hail, and heavy rain. Some cooler temperatures are going to move in for Thursday and Friday, but warming back up for the weekend with another cold front moving in for the last part of the weekend on your Sunday. And taking a quick look at satellite for you this morning, again, mostly clear skies, high pressure in control today, but we are starting to see some outer bands of moisture lifting out of the desert southwest. Off the coast a ways, there's a currently an upper level trough in the northeast Pacific. That's going to be moving into our area for that Wednesday, Thursday time frame, bringing those precipitation chances and cooler temperatures. Weather has got luck for your next five days. Just a slight chance for some showers and storms across the South Hills this later this afternoon through the evening hours. But we're expecting some widespread chances for tomorrow. Again, not all these storms will be strong, but those that do get going could be strong and severe at times. So we're keeping an eye on that for you for Wednesday. Uh, but for Thursday, some strong winds as a cold front moves through. A chance for some showers and storms further east. But other than that, just some slight chances for Friday as dry conditions return for the start of your weekend. Here's a look at those strongest wind gusts we saw yesterday. Again, it was a pretty breezy day, especially across the Snake River Plain, Arco Mud Lake Desert. Gusts about 40 to 50 miles an hour. Temperatures today are starting off the day in the 40s, 50s to low to mid 60s, with afternoon highs just a bit warmer than we saw yesterday, mid 80s to upper 90s. And for your Tuesday, and looking at widespread breezy winds continuing, gusts about 30 to 40 miles an hour. Nothing too strong for your East Idaho wind standards, but certainly been a breezy last several days for sure. And for your Wednesday morning, another warm morning, courtesy of some southwest flow as a warm front lifts north. So 50s, 60s, maybe even 70s out towards Boise's for overnight lows. So starting off the day, pretty warm there on your Wednesday. With afternoon highs, just a touch cooler, but still in the 80s and 90s across the board. The Storm Prediction Center outlook does have our entire region highlighted in a general chance for thunderstorms for tomorrow. I'm going to go down to the timing for you that. So we're starting off at noon today. Again, maybe an isolated shower or two up towards Yellowstone and around the South Hills. But other than that, should be mostly dry today. Great day, plenty of sunshine. But increasing clouds will build in later today into tonight. And with that, we are going to see some showers begin to move in for the morning hours. Again, this will be having to overcome a pretty dry air mass at the surface. So not expecting much with this. Maybe a couple showers, rumble of thunder or two in the morning. But during those afternoon noon hours is when we're going to be focusing on the potential for some stronger storms. As you can see, these beginning to develop around that 2, 3, 4 o'clock hour. Go back here a couple hours, 2, 3, 4 o'clock. Those will continue to work east. Storm direction will be southwest to northeast on Wednesday. And with that, we are tracking the potential for these to develop into some potentially stronger storms. So keep an eye on the radar. Have a way to receive alerts. We'll be keeping you updated on Wednesday for that. But as those storms work east for Wednesday, again, we're keeping best chances uh, behind that cold front across the eastern highlands, south Southern Highlands and pretty much uh, east of I-15 for Thursday, but maybe some lingering moisture will keep impacts going along the Montana and Wyoming borders. And wind gusts on Wednesday, just about where we were today, but for tomorrow, just a slight touch more uh, windier in the upper valleys, gusts about 30 to 45 miles an hour. And for your Thursday, it's going to be a 50s and 60s to start things off on Thursday. With afternoon highs noticeably cooler now, 70s and 80s. It's going to be the coolest day we've seen in several days. So if you're looking for some cooler weather, Thursday and Friday are going to be your best bet. And the Storm Prediction Center Day 3 outlook does highlight areas up into Montana, Wyoming, eastern Idaho, down into Utah, and just a general risk for thunderstorms on Thursday. And for wind gusts on Thursday, this is when we're expecting the strongest winds to move through. So again, as soon as the sun rises, we have been seeing daytime mixing uh, pretty efficient over the last several days. The upper level jet's been favoring our region, and with that, some daytime mixing, uh, steep level wraps rates, having continued to lead to some pretty gusty winds, and we are expecting that to continue on Thursday. Gusts about 45 to 65 miles an hour. And here's a look at the probability of wind gusts greater than 55 miles an hour on Thursday. And this is when we start talking the high wind warning territory. As you can see, up towards the Arco, Mud Lake Desert, Idaho Falls, Rexburg, Blackfoot, it's going to be pretty windy on Thursday. Uh, so even though we've been seeing this general breezy conditions, could be seeing gusts maybe in excess of 55, 60 miles an hour on Thursday as that cold front swings through. And for Friday, much cooler air settling in behind. Overnight lows in the 30s, 40s to low 50s to start things off on Friday. 
with afternoon highs comfortable in the 60s, 70s to low 80s. And you guessed it, more wind on Friday. Still a little bit touch uh, quieter than what we saw on Thursday. Gusts hanging on still about 30 to 40 miles an hour. And for your Saturday morning, another cool morning, 30s, 40s to low 50s across the board. With afternoon highs warming things back up as we get a ridge of high pressure filling in behind that exiting trough. Highs back in the 70s, 80s to mid 90s. And wing gusts on Saturday sounded like a broken record, but gusts still about 25 to 35 miles an hour. And to look at what's to come, 6 to 10 day temperature outlook does keep us in that near normal of temperatures, so some below normal to our north, above normal to our south. Again, normal highs this time of year are generally going to be in those low 80s, 70s as you get into the mountains. 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook does highlight our area and just a slight chance for some above normal favored precipitation. Again, we may be tracking a storm period as we head into that early next week time frame, heading into Independence Day. But other than that, it should stay mostly dry heading into early next week, but certainly keep it on that signal heading into that period. 8 to 14, not a whole lot of change there with temperatures, still near normal through these 8 to 14 day period. And with respect to precipitation, still hanging on to that near normal to slightly below normal category here in southern Idaho. And that's about all I have for you this morning. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have an awesome Tuesday and stay safe out there.